Hello everybody, my name is Big Mac of Awesome and welcome to Big Mac Plays Decide. Now, when we last left off, we had just managed to get into Sokolov's house itself. And uh, we did that by distracting some guys and letting out some of... Oh. Okay, and we did that by distracting guys by um, letting out some prisoners that they gathered. So, I am here uh, to basically kidnap Sokolov. Uh, the bulk of what I is hardly, wait, the bulk of the rodent is hardly the most interesting in detail, though it was one of the first remarked upon by visiting colleagues who come to study my prize from Pandesia. Upon further observation, it becomes obvious that the specimen exhibits greater cunning than its cousins native to the temperate gristle. I can say with confidence it's not a finicky eater with equal gusto. I've seen my little guest dine upon other smaller rats, living felines, and even the corpse flesh of a plague dead woman. Okay, sorry, I had to make a cut in the first, like, minute of the video. Um, I'm just robbing this guy of all the nice stuff that he has. Sleep darts, thank god. Processed whale oil. Out at sea, they secure the beast with hooks, with lines cast from the ship, main ship from small, several smaller boats. Uh, buoys keep the whale from diving too deep. Once it's caught, a hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them onto the deck, then lift them into the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to the port in Dunwall, where the crew works on the great creature, slicing off the fattiest parts while it still lives. That's horrifying. Oh, I can fill oil with this. Whoa, hey. This is glass. And I got two guards in that next hallway. I just have to find a way. Is this his bed? So then where is he? Pandesia. Ooh, I need a house key. Oh, it's a map. Is that glass? Gl oh, it's reflective. Okay. So I guess the next order of business is getting through this damn hallway. I can't sneak around in there. Oh, I can. Sneaky, sneaky. So then I can just totally avoid these guys altogether. And just go through this room. Is that Sokolov there? No, that's a woman. Those are women. Oh, I'm so, like, scared he can see me through the grates. That's not Sokolov, is it? I need to get higher. I do not like being on the same floor as these guys. <sighs> so there's one. Well, what am I standing over? Where am I exactly? That's so weird. So there's a guy down there. Probably shouldn't turn my dark vision on and off like that. Oh, she's just a handmaid. So she's gonna freak out if she sees me. So I can't let anybody at all in this place see me. Hemlock from Battleton Poison. This whole place has gone to the hounds. What? This place is like super clean compared to the rest of the city. I don't know what you're talking. You're not, you're dusting air. I, do you even see what you're doing? You weren't even touching anything. So, if Ant... Is Sokolov even here? What is that? Oh, uh, it's just more health elixir. You're just a guardsman admiring the poster work. So, I'm gonna have to neutralize him and carry him out of here. But, I can do all of the teleportation stuff the same as I could before. 
Never doubt. Yeah. So then where is he? Is that him right there? No, he's an overseer. I told her to keep the children inside. I told her. So then what's he doing? And I feel like I'm just gonna fall right off this edge. I don't feel safe at all. So I guess it's about time to take some action. I had better... There's two maids. Is that... Weird... Oh! No, he's just another guardsman. But I should probably take care of that overseer first. He seems like he's gonna be the biggest problem to me. So what I should first do... Is that him? This whole place has gone to the hounds. No, I don't think that's him. But that guy, that note I said have to that this position. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. Oh. Um, that overseer, I'll see if the heart has anything to say. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, me, no, I won't bother with that. I'll grab it on the way back up. But that guy has a device that can sniff me out. That's what the note said. Uh, in the last episode, I think, I found a note that said, um... Did I miss? Did I not get him? Oh no! Whoa. Probably <laughs> just the wind. Yeah, it's just the wind. Don't worry about it. Unless he's like immune or something like that. Anyway, he had some kind of a device. He had a device that uh, made things with the overseer's mark, like rumble and stuff. So if I approach him, he's probably going to freak out with that machine of his. And he'll be able to tell me, he'll be able to um, pick me out from everybody. But it seems where I want to go is on that floor. So I'm going to get off of this and try to get lower to the ground. Unless he's down here. Oh. So this is what they're protecting. <sighs> All right. He he can't see me, can he? I have to go over that way to see if he can see me from the balcony, and he can. So this is the guy I have to get rid of because I know I'm going to turn my back and this is going to be the one guy that's going to be able to see me. But I will take your body. Just kind of stash it here in this corner. What was that? Whoa. Oh, the overseer. Probably rats into everything. Yes, they are. So don't mind me, the guy running around trying to take your guy. But instead, I have to go deeper. <sighs> Can I see him over there? Seems to be blood on the floor, and I don't like the looks of that. Because if he's been killed... Don't talk like that. I wonder how close I can get to him. Alright, this is going to be a test. So I really hope it's successful. Okay. So 
so I made it closer. But what exactly am I looking for here? Alright, here's another test. I'm gonna save it before I screw this up. And... the machines this is good this is good should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight indeed I believe so Stupid where am I even going what the hell is all of this so many questions Wait a minute. who's that what? see something where is it don't make me find you what is it? <sighs> okay. We'll find it. I don't know which one of these guys is Sokolov. Alright, hold on. Let me check. What? Wrong button. Let me check my notes. Oh, I can get new powers. Um. Well, I can get Vitality 1, which would be cool, but I'm hoping... Okay, find Sokolov. Uh, he has this big-ass beard. <laughs> so, that's, that's one thing. He just lives in his apartment somewhere. So, none of... Call out to each other if you spot him. None of these guys have a beard like that. So where am I gonna find him? Nope. So now they're a little bit more vigilant, so I just have to be careful. Look out, we got a prowler. So he must not be in here. Then what the heck is the point of all this equipment in this huge stadium? Alright, let's try this again. Alright, I blinked on out of there, so... I don't think they have a clue, but I got their attention, which is more or less what I wanted instead. So now I just have to get the hell out from under here. Can I? No. How do I get up from here? Can I even get up from here, I guess is the question. This guy is still out cold. Alright. We're just kind of... There really isn't much to find here, is there? Maybe he has like a bedroom? Maybe I just got in the wrong place here? Yeah, they're all like at attention, ready to get me. this rune? I think I walked like right past it. Many seek the bridge for spots. Ruined men, abandoned women, and inflated victims have all left from here. What is this? I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25. 
which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential, according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, I got him, he's unconscious, and I got the rune. So I guess it's a good thing I picked up that rune, huh? What is this? Who are you? I don't have anything to take. You just Thank look you. like hell. Whoever you are, he kept me in a cage. Like an animal. I see that. And he wanted to kill you. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. That's fine. Lieutenant Niles report. Sample of the black market elixir we believe to be coming from one of the abandoned distilleries. No doubt it's inferior to your formula or even to Piero's remedy, but people are desperate. We have not been able to identify the additional ingredients. Perhaps you'll have better luck. One thing of note, some of the men of the watch claim when pressed to have purchased and used this stuff from time to time since it's cheaper than either of the popular brands. None of them report any illness or complications, so while it may not protect them from the plague as well, it doesn't seem harmful either. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, so that guy out there was actually guarding the person I wanted to see in the first place. And now that I have him, I'm just gonna have to be a little bit more careful as to my exit, so. Let's hope I can just get out of here in one piece, piece which was the goal in its entirety anyway. Alright. Alright. There's a little bit... Wow, Samuel is even closer than I thought he was going to be. I thought I was going to have to go back an area, but I guess I made it out safely this time. Hey, Sam. Royal position himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Okay, that is fine with me. I am so ready to get out of here. That bridge mission, done. Gone. Okay, I didn't kill anybody. So that's a good thing. I like that. I didn't actually kill anybody. Now what I think I accidentally did was like I took one of their bodies and like threw it somewhere in the previous mission. So I may not have my hands completely clean, but um, I am still... Uh, doing good for a no-kill playthrough. Uh, trying to go around and do some digging instead of just blasting through everyone. So we'll see what uh, Havelock has to say. Or Hadlock, I think is his name. And uh, from there we can proceed. They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. <laughs> From what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. <laughs> yeah, shackles isn't really that bad. Hey, fellas. Oh, are you going to pull a 360 right here? This is some really weird boat driving. Well done, Corporal. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. <laughs> Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. <laughs> you have my thanks, sir. Absolutely. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. I guess it is the only thing to do. Yeah. I hope they don't have to hurt him. He's done some good in his time. Made that elixir against the plague, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Alright, so I guess I'll go find Piero real quick and stock up for the next mission so I can just get right Normally, into it. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher. But today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. <laughs> yeah, let's still, let's took a look over the blueprint you've bought. All right, I'll definitely go for that boots, the boot stealth. I have fifteen hundred coins, so I can. 
um, bolt capacity, just standard bolts. Um, crossbow range, accuracy, combat, sleep dart. Sleep darts, sedative effect, e immediate even in combat. That's worth it. I, that is so worth it. And I will get as many sleep bolts as I can with what I have remaining. And we should be good. Alright, so there's Corvo's bed. Attention citizens. This evening, the streets adjacent to Pendleton Manor will be closed for a private ceremony following the tragic loss of two of our city's best and brightest, the Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton. All holdings and parliamentary votes now fall to Lord Trevor Pendleton, who asks for respect during this time of mourning. Interesting. So Trevor... Trevor is totally playing it off. Cecilia, you look like the chick that I just rescued. Okay. Um, is it okay for me to just take this stuff? I mean, this is my base, so... I figured it'd be okay for me. Where would Emily be hiding, I wonder? Because they did give me a prompt to go do that, so I figured it'd be worth it to go find her. Yay. Well, I guess... Wait, what's that? A decor plate? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, dark vision. Lord Pendleton, memoir. Chapter 41, in which I bed two of the Boyle women and only missed the third by virtue of some inclement weather. It was the month of rain, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies hosted three nights of merriment. Yeah, no, I don't plan on listening to all of that. Alright, we'll use dark vision to go find, uh... Is that Piero? I'll use the... Oh, there's Admiral Havelock. Attention. Gaffer's tail. Don't worry. We won't start the interrogation without you. That would be awesome. Where do I find a good meal around here? <laughs> if you think prison food's bad, you should see what the Abbey serves its captains. I the overseers make it themselves. <laughs> uh, Havelock. Bravo, sir. He was counting on the support of the Pendleton family and expected limited resistance. Just as you said it would, losing the Pendleton voting block has really slowed him down. Defense budget failed as well. He's been getting desperate financially. It seems that most of the coin he's using to keep the city watch going is coming from a close ally. A noble woman. Awesome. So maybe that'll be the next mission that I find. Hey, Lydia. <laughs> Wallace? Lord Pendleton has departed for the evening to attend to matters at the manor. It concerns the departure of his brothers. I'm sure yes. you I do, that I do. Alright, so where the hell is Emily? She must be in this building somewhere. Because if I actually could talk to her, I would like to. Unless she's being held in a completely different complex because they just want that to be safe. They just want to be safe, I guess. Lady Emily Caldwell was abducted some six months past at the moment of her mother's terrible murder. Anyone with information leading to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved late Empress is required to speak to the city Ooh, watch okay. at once. Where is she being then? What? Is she in the tower? I bet she's in the top of the tower. The one place. That nobody now that well we have Sokolov as a guest ask him how he deluded the academy into making him royal physician ask him how he stole my elixir for me will you do that for me <laughs> absolutely absolutely Ooh, okay all right I'll just cut to the time if I find Emily because this is gonna take a while coin of ten. Da, da, da. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there in the city. OK, 
Okay. The golden cat. She still has bad dreams. Well, Both yeah. understandable given all she's been through. Sometimes she calls out your name. Sometimes she cries for her mother. Okay, well, I won't interact directly with her, but I... Well, no, I will, but I'll save it beforehand in case this somehow makes, like, a bad reputation. Please, please leave a candle for me. I, it gets dark in here, and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? Oh. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna go to my bed. Thank God I found her. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's not even that far from my place either, so that was totally, like, wasted time, huh? I'll leave that door open. Well, it's... nope. Right here. Here are my chambers. Note from Piero. Corvo, thank you for getting me a live weeper. This is going to be invaluable for my old friend at the Academy of Natural Philosophy, as living plague specimens are often quite difficult to procure. Rest assured, my colleague will handle the situation as humanely as possible. And a bundle of sleep darts. Perfect. This matter with my brothers has not been pleasant at all, so I don't wish to discuss it further. However, I really must thank you. I've heard that you found some other means of neutralizing them without taking their lives. Ingenious. Wherever they are, even if they are miserable, they are alive at least. So perhaps someday I will see them again. Yeah, except you're not going to be able to talk to them, buddy. So best drop that hope right now. So... Before I hop into bed, I'm just going to end this episode here, and man, I should probably have, like, explored this place beforehand, but I don't know really what got over me. I figured I'd do it, give it a crack this time. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Big Mac Plays Dishonored. If you liked what you saw, give me a like. Uh, let me know that I'm doing a good job. Leave a comment if I miss something or something, if uh, I need to go back to somewhere, I'll do it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And until the time comes where I get to see you guys in the next video, toodaloo!